Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Charlene Villasenor Black. I'm a professor here of art history and Chicano Chicano studies. And um, I'd like to welcome you to uh, American Art and the Legacy of Conquest, Art at California's Missions in the Global 18th through 20th Centuries. Um, before we do anything, though, I would like to invite um, tribal elder Ms. Julia Bogany, who is the cultural consultant uh, for the Tongva and Gabrielino, up to open our conference with uh, a blessing and a land recognition. So give us a few moments to do that, and uh, welcome to UCLA. Thank you. Good morning. If we could stand for the land acknowledgement. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> I'm OK. I'm Julia Bagani. I'm a cultural officer for the Katangwa of San Gabriel. We, the indigenous people, the traditional caretakers of this landscape, are the direct descendants are the first people who formed our lands, our worlds during creation time. We have always been here. Our ancestors prepared and became the landscape and the worlds for the coming of humans with order, knowledge, and gifts embedded in the landscape. Our ancestors imbued the responsibility and obligation to our original instructions, guided by protocol and etiquette, to be part of, take care of, and ensure the welfare of the extended family and community, defining its most inclusive expression, the nature, and to pass those teachings and responsibilities unto our children, grandchildren, and many generations to come, and to all those that now live here. I'd like to thank you for being here this morning, and thank the Creator for Traveling Mercies, and for just asking him to give us a great day today, and we learn a lot together in harmony. Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Chon Noriega, and I'm the director of the Chicano Studies uh, Research Center. And we're very honored to be able to present this uh, in collaboration with our uh, sponsors. First, I would like to thank uh, Julia Boganet for the land acknowledgement and the blessing. And for those of you that are uh, you know, visiting UCLA to also point out that it's been two and a half months since the land acknowledgement actually became part of UCLA policy. And this was an outcome of an effort by a native faculty uh, to really raise the level of consciousness on the campus, in particular uh, with the administration. Uh, and, and I'd like to point out Mishwana Goman and uh, Shannon Speed, who is the director of the American Indian Studies Center, this conference today is very much in the spirit of that change, of the effort to uh, acknowledge and to respect uh, the perspectives, uh, the rights uh, that have long been ignored uh, and upon which uh, the world we live in today has been built. And you'll hear more about that and the attempt to really bring a, a set of perspectives that have not been part of the discussion of how we talk about American art history um, and the ways in which we think about uh, the cultural history of this place. Um, but what I'd like to do, uh, first of all, is uh, in the spirit of uh, the land acknowledgement, uh, to have an acknowledgement of all of the staff uh, who are making this event possible today. And that includes the staff of the Chicano Studies Research Center and of uh, the Anderson uh, building here, and of course the staff that will uh, help us uh, be well fed uh, and, and uh, fueled throughout the day. Uh, so I'd like to thank them for their uh, contributions to this and to acknowledge that they are very central to the intellectual work and very much a part of the intellectual work that we'll be doing throughout the next two days. Um, I'm very pleased to say that, that we have uh, support from the Critical Mission Studies uh, Project, and you'll be hearing more about that uh, shortly. Uh, the UC Mexico Initiative, which is housed at UC uh, Riverside, and the UCLA Department of Art History. 
Now, this conference is uh, possible with the support of the Terra Foundation for American Art uh, in Chicago, and they've been a leader in the effort to really shift the discussion of American art from a national and nationalist perspective to an international one. And we're pleased that they, uh, with some nudging, uh, were willing to recognize the indigenous uh, populations as part of that framework, to really think of it uh, as sovereign within its own framework, um, and uh, to support this effort. And finally, uh, before bringing up uh, my co-conspirator uh, in this effort, um, I just want to say that it's an honor to have you all visiting here. I am hoping we will see more people uh, come in. There's been a great interest in this. It is also uh, 9 o'clock in the morning on a Friday uh, in which it's going to be 81 degrees outside. Um, but you know, our first goal is academic exchange. Uh, we're bringing uh, people who are working from very different disciplinary perspectives, different uh, cultural and political and intellectual investments. And we want to share that, exchange that. But I think we also have a larger opportunity, and it's part of the reframing that we're doing. And I know almost every one of you are engaged in a process of reframing existing uh, intellectual and disciplinary and cultural frameworks. Um, I think it's an opportunity to pose the question, while we're together, what more could we do to really bring around a fundamental change of how we think about art, and in this instance, looking at the um, California missions and saying, these are not just um, sites of administration uh, through religion um, of empire. They are that, for clear. Uh, they are not just part of a, a romantic and nostalgic uh, sense of history that the United States kind of puts forward uh, in lieu of a more accurate uh, history of what we now call diversity. Uh, they are the first museums in this hemisphere uh, in one respect. And we want to think about how can we take that and make good use of it? How can we take that and discuss it from multiple perspectives and see where we can take it? This is not about finding one perspective, uh, one right way of understanding it. In a larger sense, it's about a struggle to acquire, to ensure access to the material history by which we can come to a more complex understanding of how we got here, who we are, and, uh, and how we uh, can position ourselves relative to that history going forward. As you know, we're celebrating the 25th, and it's not really, it's an odd celebration, but it's a celebration of the 25th anniversary of Proposition 187. And you'll be hearing a lot about that in the radio and in the press. Um, and that's not a new uh, moment. It was a proposition to basically deny rights to all immigrants. Um, how do we understand that that history never left us? Uh, it shapes us. It continues to. But we like to think of it in one way, which is that it leads us to a better future. And I think we're better served by understanding the nature of the history that we've all come through and that we share today. So I want to thank you for uh, uh, being a part of this. And I want to bring Charlene back up here to get us started into the uh, uh, substance of the day and introduce our first keynote speaker. Thank you to everyone uh, for being here. Uh, we're hoping at this conference uh, to forge a new engagement with the history of California's missions, vastly mythologized and uh, profoundly understudied still, uh, through reconsideration of the missions as both physical sites and foci of interpretation, our speakers today and tomorrow pursue new research that surfaces native Mexican and Mexican-American voices, as well as global viewpoints that impact the history of California, the US, Mexico, and really global history um, at this time. Reflecting trends in public history over the last decade, the research presented fosters more complex, multidimensional public engagements with difficult histories. The conference is inspired by uh, the multi-campus research program initiative grant that we have. 
Um, we're very grateful for that. The critical mission studies at California's Crossroads. I'm one of the four uh, PIs on that, in addition to Professor Jennifer Shepard Hughes of UCR, Ross Frank of UC San Diego, and Renio Ramirez of UC Santa Cruz. We're also working with four California Indian uh, PIs, Professor Eve uh, Chavez of UC Santa Cruz, Stan Rodriguez of UCSD and Kumeyaay Community College, Jonathan Cordero of Cal Lutheran, and Val Lopez, Tribal Chair of the Amamutsen. Uh, so many of them are here uh, today at the conference, and you'll hear from them. 